Good day, student. You are welcome to our class today. Today we are looking at a topic practical on livestock uh, management. And for our objective, at the end of the class, we will be explaining the concept of livestock uh, management and six-step practices. Then we will be able to outline the system of livestock management and enumerate the merit and the merit of each six-step. Then, looking at livestock management system, we have three systems here. Number one, extensive system, intensive system, and semi-intensive system. Under extensive system, it's just like what you call free range. The animals, they are reared and they can, you know, move about. No housing, no feeding, no medication for them. Then, when you talk of intensive system, intensive system is just like you know, they be in between your intensive system and extensive system. So it shares the characteristics or the features of extensive system and the intensive system. Then on that intensive system, you talk about, you know, having the animal put in a particular place. At times we talk of, you know, battery case system for poultry. Then we talk of a fold unit. For them, so it is very, very important we know this. Then, under this, you'll be able to talk about characteristics, advantages, and disadvantages of the system. Then, we're also looking at livestock management practices. There are some practices we carry out under managing our livestock. As you can see on the board, we have housing, then calling. What do I call it? Is you you know removing a particular animal from the earth, maybe because of inability to produce, or maybe because of uh, ill health or sickness. Then you talk of castration, castration talking about removing the testes of your animal. Then we also talk about uh, restraining. At times you want to treat your animals. Take for ex example your cattle. You know, these cattle, they are big animals. And for you to be able to carry out effective, you know, vaccination on them, treatment on them, you need to restrain the animal. You have different way of doing that. Then we can also deworm our animal. Then you also know that feeding is very, very important. So these are the things I want you to take note of. I want to go back to the notes we have inside our Google Classroom. Go over this so that you'll be able to have a better understanding.